So it's people not to be trusted. The girls and the dudes ain't shh. What's up guys, back with another video. This is actually my favorite shirt. I even wear it like everywhere actually. So I was given a couple questions by um, future freshmen of Savannah State University. So I'm here to answer those questions. So literally if you have the same questions, you will definitely tune in. If you don't or you have a fellow friend or whatnot, definitely share the video. This is definitely me being honest and transparent about Savannah State the bad because there is some bad and the good so i'm gonna jump right into it someone said what is the social life like at ssu as far as there are a lot of drama parties is everybody friendly okay i don't want to talk so much so i'm gonna try to make this short but the social life at ssu i feel like it's really good especially when you're a freshman and also when you're a sophomore that is where and when you make the, the most friends i feel like it's good because savannah state is actually a tight-knit community school it's not a community college it's a community school because it's smaller than most colleges it in my opinion it's, i always just tell people this is one of the smallest colleges in georgia since it's one of the first hbcus in georgia um compared to the school that I actually transferred to that has like almost over 25,000 students versus Savannah State will only have like 5,000, 6,000 students. So it's really tight knit. You can know somebody, you'll know their name, or sometimes you just have hi and bye friends. My issue with Savannah State, with the social life is I made a lot of hi and bye friends. Literally that was possibly about it to be honest. Bunch of hi and bye friends. Um, but it's up to you to make the best of your social life. You go up and talk to people. Um, another thing I experience a lot of people, they just normally just always say hi, like it's just so welcoming there. They'll be like, hey girl, and I just go, like, hey girl, because I'm nice, most of them are nice, so just make new friends, be in group chats, and we get on Twitter, talk to people in the dining halls and all such and such. Um, there is drama, I will say. Savannah State felt like a big high school to me. Like I was just got, uh, I'm in a high school with just more freedom. That's exactly what it felt like. So there were fights. <laughs> There was drama, there were rumors. I mean, I won't say too much rumors, but it was rumors, but it's college, so it was like, who really gives, you know? But party life is really fun. I really enjoyed it. I will say, I don't think it hits like when I was a freshman. So I will say, I do think that a lot of people are very friendly. Compared to the school that I transferred to, um, at Savannah State, when I would just be in my dorms, I see it in Tiger Court, people would just be like, hey, like as if we knew each other we never met each other we don't know each other from a can of paint but me being nice too i'm like hey girl you would think we know each other and from there it just starts like that you just want to say hey to them and you know so i just feel as though within that even the guys will act, they'll say what's up to you all the time i feel like it's up to you guys to actually reach out and go beyond just high and by because i made a bunch a bunch of high and by friends and it was kind of like annoying because i didn't have like actual friends besides my friends friends but i always wanted more friends i wanted a lot of friends you know i just had high and by friends or what's the move friends like we'll go to parties together but will we go hang out and sleep over each other's dorm type of friends no so but i will say they're friendly i won't say they're mean um even the stuck up people they'll most likely be nice so you know stuff like that drama there is drama like i always said since i started at savannah state savannah state felt like one big ass high school like seriously there were fights there were dramas there were rumors it was literally all of that so definitely be worried about what you do and who you do parties were fun like when i tell you they were fun like they were always lit especially my freshman year the freshmen and sophomores mainly partied together whereas the juniors half of like a good amount of the juniors that weren't 21 yet will party with the freshmen sophomores but the people once they turn 21 which is majority of the juniors and all the seniors they go downtown and then they go down there so it is kind of split up a little bit but i will say my freshman year had a bunch of fun i'm not exactly sure if it's still the same but i doubt it i don't know just because covid hit i literally transferred right after covid but anyways so next question 
what was your freshman year like at SSU? Yeah, my freshman year was amazing. Like, I wish I could do it all over again. People look at me weird when I say that, but I literally had the best freshman year I could possibly have had. Like, there's probably like one or two regrets. And that just has to do with like guys, well, a guy, and probably, um, I had another regret. I think it was um something with goals. I didn't get to do with my goals on time, but that's that's basically about it. I really had a blast. I came in with some uh, like a friend that I had from high school, and so we were really really close. Then I also was roommates with my um, best friend at the same time. So of course, I already knew the main two people, and then I had like party friends, and then I had a car. So you know, at that point, it was it was great. And then I was at a school. Um, Savannah State is not like a school where it's in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of things around, a lot of things to do around, so it's really like very convenient. So that was great. Um, there was a beach. If you're feeling sad or whatever, you can go to the beach. Like I said, the parties are really fun for me. Pictures, you know, it's always good lighting, you know, you're by the marsh, all that. It was just great. Like, Honestly, when I was there, I was just like, uh, I'm tired of Savannah State. But just looking back, I'm like, I really had a great freshman year. I really, really did have a great freshman year. And I really do, will never regret going and starting at Savannah State. Like, I even made sure I got my associates so I can become a Savannah State alum. What is the food like? The food. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, a foodie. I'm really fat. I eat anything so I, will, I used to always stay in the dining hall but a lot of people did not like Savannah State's food let me be honest however they have improved some of their food when I transferred I left I think the last time I was there was last year 2021 I haven't been there since um, but I think they improved their food they had this thing called um, It was a little little shack. It reminded me of like steak and shake. Like it was really, really good. Now that food was definitely fried and cooked right in front of you. It was so good. The dining hall food, I mean it has its good days and it has its bad days. I would since I had a meal plan already, I think as a freshman you already have to have a meal plan. I'd say just go in there. You might find at least one or two things that you like. Um might not always be the best full meal, but just eat to your full, you're paying for it, so why not? But I won't say it's the best. But it is really, it was good to me. But as far as my other friends, they will say it's not that good. But on Wednesdays, we do have fried chicken Wednesdays. And I will tell you that it's delicious. From the mac and cheese to the fried chicken, all that is like super, super, super good. Um, on fried chicken Wednesdays, um, they also have dress for success. So they come in looking like they're dressed for success or dressed to impress. So definitely take note of that. Um, it is HBCU, so sometimes they come looking good. They come looking great. You know, so definitely dress up, get your um, good outfits on. Some people wear heels and all that. People wear, um, the guys wear dress shoes. So definitely prepare for that. Does the calf have good eating places? I Okay, so the calf is just, you know, dining hall food. Um, which you probably think you, I think you mean like the U, which is also called the student union. They're okay. Not the best, but they're okay. They're good. Um, I'd always come back, so. Would I pay for them out of pocket? I mean, if I was hungry, yeah. But since I had a meal plan, like I said, just just eat it. It's good still. It's not horrible. Um, which dorm building did you stay in during your freshman year? And did you like it as far as the setup and everything? Or it being close to your classes? So I stayed in Tiger Court during my freshman year. I did like it. The setup and everything. Um, the first three floors were all girls. And then the top floor was the guys. I actually did like it that way. Um... I don't know why. Um, the setup, I didn't like that in um, our dorm rooms. We didn't have doors. But what I did is I got a, a shower curtain rod or whatever and I did a curtain so I could still have my privacy because I still need my privacy. Um, and then I feel like it was okay. Me going into Savannah State not expecting so much compared to these other schools, it made me, it was better. But if you go in expecting a lot, I will probably tell you it might feel like a disappointment not gonna lie but if you don't expect a lot nothing will be good just take my advice and put a curtain rod to make it look like your door or whatever and hopefully you have a roommate that you can trust it's not going to say but that's the part of setup I didn't really really like 
Um, being close to my classes, it really wasn't that close to all my classes. Um, I actually drove to all my classes, but like I was saying, it's a tight knit school, it's a small school, everything is walkable. So I won't really say, nothing is super far compared to other schools. Trust me, I done transferred. A lot of stuff is far. So. How is it not having doors and dorms with two people? Okay, so yeah, I just, I just answered that. So my first roommate, um, she didn't give me a super bad vibe, but she did used to always have friends in her room and I did used to like really get skeptical. Like I hope they don't go in my room while I'm not in there because there was no privacy. Another thing is I don't really, I didn't, I never really had boys in my room unless they were like my guy friends and I probably only had like two, three of those. <laughs> so I didn't really need that much privacy, but I know if I did have a boyfriend, that would probably be annoying because I would have wanted the privacy. Um, and then the second semester of my freshman year, I stayed with my best friend at the time. So, you know, we was like this. So I wasn't really tripping on a space, but I am, I do feel like it's something you definitely get used to, but definitely store all your stuff that you have in a safe place. Is everything walking distance? Is the transportation good or would you suggest having a car? Everything is definitely walking distance. The transportation is good. I, I, I don't, I'm not gonna really answer that because I never got to ride the freaking bus. Like I said, I had a car. I drove to my class everywhere. I just knew how to finesse the little parking issue because you can't really park everywhere, but I knew how to finesse it the right way. So without having a boot or a ticket. So I literally drove to so literally all my classes. I drove everywhere and most freshmen didn't come with a car. So I did have that advantage, but I feel like taking the bus is fine. Um, I never heard anything bad about it. And walking distance, everything's literally walking distance. Literally, I promise you. Your opinion on relationships in college. Um, Like I said, my only main regret at Savannah State, my journey was probably to do with a guy. Um, relationships in college. Here, here let me tell y'all something. Do not go into college thinking that these dudes are better than the dudes that were in high school. That's what I thought. And honestly, they probably way worse. And why? Why you may ask? Because they have more freedom to do whatever they want. They got their mama, their daddies, their grandma, or the teachers saying do it. They just you know they can do whatever they want and sometimes you never know what they're doing so a lot of the guys are sneaky um and a lot of people uh, let me talk to the guys as well some of these girls never had this much freedom so just imagine that they start wilding out the guys start wilding out the girls start wilding out everybody doing whatever they want to do it's lit it's up they getting drinks they getting liquor they getting weed from this person so it's just a lot going on um, you never really know what to trust. So I will just say, trust your gut instincts. You might have to do some lurking and just make sure y'all on the same page. I'll make another video on that. If you have any more questions about that, let me know. Cause I think that's a whole other story, a whole other video I'm gonna need to give when it comes to relationships. Uh, I'll probably say don't do it, but I, I'm a relationship type girl. So I was all for it though, but some people not to be trusted. The girls and the dudes ain't. Shh. Room decoration tips. Um, like I said, bring the curtain with the rod. Um, also have a shower caddy because you do share a bathroom with um, your roommate. And just in case you don't really know her, have your own shower caddy. You don't want her using all your stuff or touching your stuff. I did have a roommate who used to. She used to use my bar soap, and I had to find out, and that was weird. Um, so yeah, guys, have a shower caddy. Um, also, I will say have a mattress topper because sometimes I never really slept on the regular bed, but it could be hard. I always slept on a mattress topper, so it feels like I'm sleeping on a good mattress. Disinfectant wipes. Y'all say room decoration. Let me get back to that. <sighs> Advice make it like your room back at home, but better. Use your color and themes because you're gonna always want to rely back on your room your room should be your sanctuary i will also recommend led lights led lights are great it gives you such a vibe so also have some of that posters and um affirmation posters i would put like my favorite bible verses that keep me going stuff that make you feel at home i like if you see this um those are like designer ones i love um also bring a tv um you can always watch netflix all that stuff um decorate like that really the freshman rooms are not that huge can't do much but 
decorate your bed with a nice good set with a mattress topper decorate with wall hangings and stuff like that some LED lights and um, your fridge definitely bring a mirror um, a, a wall mirror also decorate your desk like with a lamp um, a mirror a little place to put your um, pens and pencils and stuff like that but um, I'm gonna do a room tour soon it will be posted on my page so I'll just get more into detail on that on campus jobs there are a lot of jobs on campus I actually had one I actually loved it I believe I worked at the student advancement center um, the lady's name was Selena Rouse there's an, uh, a website called handshake um, and that's where I applied on so you can find all the Savannah State jobs on there I think they pay about eight dollars an hour I definitely feel like they're super 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 easy jobs and just to get you some extra cash on the side just to chill majority of the time is really really good um, in the student union in a student union which we call the U there is a place called like a career center career center and those people in there they will teach you how to make a resume they will perfect your resume they'll do mock interviews so like just if you had an interview in front of a employer um, the people in you they will help you to be able to stop saying um and you know so you can just actually like talk like hi my name is Vanessa and I'm applying for this job yes I'm a very eloquent young individual you know you're just gonna they're gonna get you right and they're also gonna help you to apply for a job and that's what they did they helped me to apply for a job and I got that lady to contact me and that was the job I had and it was really really nice in my opinion so there are a lot of on-campus jobs that you can do even working in the dining hall or working in the library working in the scholarship center just it's a lot so definitely check out that place in the um, University Center and remember the the um, website is called hand shake like you give a handshake it's called handshake for your on-campus jobs do study groups work for you and what are your tips on studying study groups definitely work for me I really, really encourage everybody to do study groups um, because you know you guys all get to bounce off each other's knowledge that you guys learned and it also helps you like stay awake some people can't study alone because they get distracted they start getting on the phone watching TV or such but when you have a study group you guys are all there for the same purpose my camera died I'm not sure where I was but oh I think we were talking about study groups so study groups you get to learn a lot from different people and um, also it's a great way to meet new friends at the same time although they might just become school or class friends unfortunately that's what I went through um, but like I said it's up to you to make it more ask them out to lunch or ask them out to breakfast you know just make it more that's what I didn't necessarily do I just kept it the way it was but sometimes you have to be initiator it's just like that um, my tips on studying is definitely take notes in class. I always had a notebook. I like to hear and read it and I like to follow PowerPoints. I also ask the professor if they could upload the PowerPoints online. So that way I'm studying at the same time. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to maintain a 4.0 or to get straight A's each semester because that's what I did. Um, even when I got my associates from Savannah State, I graduated with summa cum laude, which is the top honor status. Um, so I am going to make a separate video on that. Make sure you guys subscribe so I can give you, you know, y'all be tuned into that. But um, also tips on studying. Study every other day, the night before. Definitely, I'm a crammer. I like to just cram a lot more information that I've been studying throughout the week. The night before, I'm going to study crazy. The um, same day, if I have a test that like maybe like 12, I'm going to wake up two hours early to start studying. So that way it's fresh on my mind. Um, also Quizlet. Yeah, it's good for cheating, but it's also good for studying at the same time. So just, you know, learn it from Quizlet. Don't also, don't just cheat off it. Actually learn from it before you actually cheat off it. <laughs> Whatever. But definitely subscribe. I'm going to give you guys more information on that. But um, definitely take notes and review your notes. Take good notes where you can read your handwriting. And um, also form study groups. If someone hasn't formed it, form it yourself. Procrastination tips. I'm actually the worst person to ask for this because I am the world's biggest procrastinator, unfortunately. However, my procrastination tips, what I did used to do, the only thing that wasn't me procrastinating was because Savannah State was a party school. All the parties were Friday and Saturday. I would make sure all my work is done 
Friday morning. And sometimes I know I didn't have classes on Fridays, so I'd want to like sleep in on Fridays. So the thing I would do is I'll make sure all my work is done the night before. So Thursday night, I make sure everything is done so I won't have anything to worry about Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So that way I can have a good old time. Um, try to balance your life. Another thing um, with procrastination tips is to have a planner. I actually have a planner. It's literally my baby. Like, I love, like, let me show y'all. I literally write in it all the time. I'm not gonna really show y'all what I be writing. But my planner is how I'm able to keep what I need to do during that day. And I'm checking off as I go. It's such a good feeling to know that you're checking off stuff, checking off to-do lists. That means you're being productive. And what you always wanna be in life is productive and not just proactive. You wanna be productive. So that's what I've been doing. Um, there's also student planner. You guys can see that, but at the same time, you guys can go on my link and look on my Amazon storefront. And there are nice planners that are really, really like just nice. It also has like a list for your priorities. Just go on my Amazon storefront in my description box and go on back to school emergency kit. And it'll tell you the planner that you guys should get. Um, beach day tips, what to bring. So beach day, definitely bring a towel. Um, bring a change of clothes extra underwear um, beach day um, I'd say bring a bag that you can keep up with please do not not take care of your bag don't put it right here and sing and think nobody's gonna take it please keep it after your stuff oh it's thundering um, if you're a girl make sure you like put your like a brush in there because the whole Savannah State takes pictures in the beach like you always know they're about to take pictures unfortunately you guys were not entering college when we had Orange Crush. Orange Crush actually ended after like 10, 20 years or something, my freshman year. So um, that was like the littest beach day Savannah State could ever have. Like all the schools come to join Savannah State for Orange Crush, like it's lit. But either way, when you go to the beach, you're at a beach, so take a picture. Like me, I'm from Atlanta, we don't have a beach. So when we go to Savannah, you know, I'm gonna take my beach pictures if I'm not on vacation, like why not? So um that's really all you need to bring is a towel your phone um some snacks in a bag and like have some loose change for some money good programs to get involved in so basically organizations if nobody tells you this let me tell you join an organization not just an organization join organizations that was also one of my biggest regrets that I didn't do my freshman year. It took me to my sophomore year to just join organizations and that's when I started meeting more friends and learning so much more about certain stuff. But guess what? That's exactly when COVID happened. So I didn't really get to do it and I was like, dang, I wish I'd been started this freshman year. I wish I'd been knew how important it was to join an organization. So I don't definitely join organizations. Some that I was in, um, Tiger War Magazine, if you like writing or editing or taking pictures when it comes to the magazine, this is Savannah State's newspaper. Um, so that's something, that's a good program to get on. Um, also CAB, um, Campus Activity Board. CAB is a great thing to get into. That's one of the programs that I really liked. That helps you be able to plan all the activities that Savannah State does. You're going to also be in charge of homecoming. So that's stuff that I would love to do, like um, that I will recommend you guys to do as a committee. Um, also, there are two model organizations on campus. One is called Savage and one is called LA. I would definitely encourage you guys to get into a model organization like Lethal Lore. Like, I guess that's one of the top. Um, I wasn't Savage for just a little bit, but then it was it was a lot of drama. So I just say do LA. Whatever you guys want to do, though. But a model organization will help you build confidence. And, you know, you go to HBCU now. So, you know, it's definitely that. There are a lot of organizations. Make sure you guys go on the organization page, look at Savannah State organizations, and definitely take note on which one that you think that you'd be interested in. Um, if you need my help, definitely comment, or if my Instagram socials will be in the comments. You guys can always reach out to me, ask me any of these questions, or help or advice or anything anyways. Any kind of freshman advice? Um, well, so like I said, freshman advice. I gave you guys advice about the guys or the girls, like ship. Just know that people, you know, they'll do whatever because they have freedom. Um, also, two, try to stay out of drama. Um, three, a lot of these girls are not your friends. You're still gonna experience fake people in college. It's just like that, I don't know. And with guys, I mean, 
keep your belongings some people will swipe they will swipe um, other advice like I said definitely join organizations make sure you join organizations join an organization okay um, initiate some of us are too shy to initiate I was too shy to initiate and boom that cost me a lot of friends um, also network network networking is a big thing with college any college that you go to definitely network sometimes it's about who you know instead of what you know so make sure that you network with people network with different majors um, reach out to different people network with your professors tell them what you want to get into they know somebody who can help you with this and get into this field or this career all that type of stuff um, freshman advice as well is I would say don't solely depend on your advisor please do your own research because with me I had to take myself from here to here by myself sometimes I feel like advisors just lead you wrong because they're just saying like based of I feel like it's about what you think what you know is best if you're somebody who's not good at planning for yourself or you just that I don't know type person and you don't have no offense but you don't have your your head on strong like you know exactly what you want then depend on your advisor but if you are a type of person who knows exactly what you want and definitely depend on yourself so go to your advisor here let me tell you something when I let my advisor pick my teachers those are my first two and only B's my whole college career like all four years now when I started picking all my classes I got an A in each and every single class to this day I have a 4.0 GPA because I was picking my classes um, and that's another thing to go with advice is make sure you do your research on the professors that you have if you have to go ask on the SSU hashtag who has taken this person do that if you have to look online or rate my professors.com do that okay literally do that but have no fear I'm going to make another um, how to like maintain you know high GPA da, 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 straight A's video coming soon might be September that I might post it so like I said subscribe and I'll give you guys more of that scholar advice but as far as more freshman advice um, take advantage of every single thing because some stuff I didn't take advantage for and I you know I just y'all yeah, just take advantage of stuff like okay you're paying for a meal plan take advantage of that okay take advantage of everything so I'm going to move on from that question for me talking forever how much the SSU give you for financial aid um remember but honestly it doesn't really matter because nobody's gonna get the same amount it depends on how much your parents made on your tax for returns um, sometimes I didn't have financial aid because they said my parents made well my mother made too much money um, long story but it just depends oh but I did get hope scholarship so if you're in Georgia and you graduated high school with the Bubba 3.0 or something you will get hope scholarship if you're a Georgia if you were a Georgia high school student going into a Georgia college, you'll get that scholarship. Um, and that, what Savannah said, they used to, they used to give me like two thousand dollars and some amounts, two thousand four hundred, two thousand five hundred, something like that. Um, so that was the scholarship that everyone gets, and you have to maintain a three point throughout your college um, college years to be able to keep on getting that each semester. Was it like the first week on campus? So I'm not sure if they still do this on at Savannah State, but they had a WOW week, which is, I forgot what WOW stand for, stood for, but um, WOW week was just a super week. I actually missed out on it, but everyone always tells me how great it was and that you meet your friends' friends at WOW week. So definitely go there. Um, first week was definitely me getting lost, me going to see my um, classes before the um, actual you know, I just went to go tour around the whole building so I know where everything was. Um, the first week gets hectic because you're also dealing with financial aid because if you don't know, HCU financial aids are a pain. So you're gonna have to be dealing with that. Um, the first week was also like a lot of getting to know different people and trying out the food. Just a, a whole different experience because you're stepped into a different world so definitely make sure you guys know and find out where stuff is and do not be afraid to ask questions because that's all i was doing is asking so many questions yeah it's basically how the first week is but i mean enjoy it's going to get easier as the weeks go on but it does start out as hectic 
what's your major, um, I guess some two people asked me what's my major, and how are the courses related to your major going for you, like easy or difficult? Um, my major, um, Savannah State, was mass communications. Um, so the course related to my major, I mean the first two years are not even my major classes, so when I was doing my freshman and sophomore year, they were like, I don't know, I was taking biology classes, I was taking a uh, math class, I was taking writing classes, it was just a lot, just like, I don't know, but just the regular classes, everybody is similar, is going to have to be taking those classes. When I finally got into my major, I did transfer, like I, I transferred to Georgia State, but in my opinion, I feel like they were easy because I'm very book smart. And like I said, I take a lot of notes. I stay back and talk to teachers a lot just to get more extra help. So they became easy to me. When it came to math, math is not my strongest subject. I feel like I can be good at it, but it's just, I just hate, I hate math. Um, biology, I don't like biology either, but you know, that came a little bit easy to me. But I don't know. I'd say in the middle of easy and difficult. I don't, I feel like whatever I sign up for is nothing I can't handle. So it was like that. Would you recommend freshmen to bring their car the first year? A lot of them didn't. I did, me and my friend did, and I feel as though we lived our best life just because we had a car on campus. Like I said, for me, I'm lazy. I was not one to walk to my classes. Like I used to drive to all my classes, so it was convenient for me because I just did not like to walk. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of off-campus parties. You will have on-campus parties, but there are a lot of off-campus parties. And sometimes so a lot of people are struggling on who to go with or they'll take Ubers. So of course some people used to use me and my friend to be able to get free rides. But you know, I don't really want to fall in for all that. But because I already had a car, I had that advantage, I can go off campus and go to these parties. So I mean, I would recommend the answer is yes, because also you might want to go out to eat off campus because you might not like the dining hall food you don't want to starve you might need to go to different places like Walmart or Sam's Club like me um so I have my car to always you know do such things so I would definitely recommend bringing your car when asked I want to know what good food places are around Savannah State University um luckily for you like I said Savannah State is not in the middle of nowhere like Albany State like Savannah State has a lot of food places around literally if I mean, okay, so once you go out of Spanish State and you make a right and you just mer I mean, like, yield, make another right, there's a lot of food spots right there. Um, but anyways, you have, what do you have? You have Zaxby's um, nearby, you have McDonald's nearby, um, Burger King's a little too far. Um, you do have Chick-fil-A nearby. A lot of wing places, there are some Chinese food places and seafood places. There's a lot, um, as far as good food places, I don't recall ever having a favorite food spot. Um, one that a lot of people like was called Kerry Hillard's. It's literally right next to the um, right next to campus. So maybe that. But at least there's a lot of food spots you can literally find one easily. How is SSU homecoming? SSU homecoming. Okay, my freshman year was lit. It was I had a blast. Like guys, like first of all, the preparation itself, like it's just memory itself when homecoming was coming along like everyone is just like going crazy like nobody had their wigs on nobody had their hair laid everyone's getting their hair done you know everyone's getting their makeup done like homecoming is just a big deal and it's super lit it was like a week of events and um, actual homecoming i think the biggest thing that i remember with homecoming was when little baby and gunna came um that was on uh, my freshman year it was just so lit y'all it was so lit and then we also had son of a vegas and um, people in Wild and Out. Yeah, I definitely love homecoming season. Like, I always go back. I went to homecoming last year. I believe Rich Homie Kwan. I think we saw Rich Homie Kwan and whatnot. Um, I will say other people's homecoming, other schools' homecoming compared to Savannah State's is a little bit, it's, it's something to compare. But like I said, my freshman year, we had Lil Baby and Gunna. You can compare that. Like, those are my favorite. But nowadays, unfortunately, you guys are coming in at the time where probably won't be that lit, but you will still have a good time. Homecoming will be what you make of it. Go to each and every single event, every flyer you see posted, make sure you go there. Okay, always ask around who going to this, who going to this, and just go, like have fun. Um, try not to get finesse, because some parties people might not be going to. Some parties is not actual homecoming parties, but I mean, you should know. 
just be vigilant be safe make friends go to a group of friends go on twitter ask who want to go to this party if you don't have nobody to go with just do that um do not homecoming season get your hair done take pictures it's h-o-c-o -O, homecoming and it's lit so savannah state homecoming definitely recommend i probably might be there again this year what do you normally do on the first week of school normally on the first week of school what i do um i go get stuff settled with financial aid if i didn't already have it before school was already done i'm also still fixing up my room to decorate it with um much more stuff that i need um i'm also going to the dining hall every day i'm trying to meet the people and ask some questions where this class is this class is i'm also getting to know my teachers a bit more so that they know me i'm not just a student but they know me as my name like vanessa just actually relaxing and decompressing because i know we're in for a tough semester so that's basically what i'm doing on the first week of school just getting stuff together um, getting syllabus quizzes out the way and look reviewing syllabus to know like what i'm in for so i'm not into something that i didn't even expect so just stuff like that it's not nothing to stress about though another thing i wanted to mention um usually on the first week when you get to know people you might ask them what grade are they in because you never know how to really ask that what i had to learn is that savannah state um they go by what classification are you so remember that word what's your classification and when you say what's your classification then you know that's you asking like what grade are you in so in that case they'll say freshman sophomore junior senior so now that you know that that's a classification or if you don't want to say classification you ask what year are you in how was it like not having a microwave in your fresh in your dorm freshman year well i snuck my microwave in i got my social degree they can't take it away from me no more but yes i stuck my microwave in i think i was like the only one with a microwave people used to come to my room and try to use my microwave because my roommate was telling them that i had a microwave so i would just whenever it used to get to like three two one i would make sure that thing is not dinged because you never want to already to know that you have a microwave um but never that i would not encourage you to bring your own microwave i'm not encouraging you to do that at all there is a microwave on every single floor i live in tiger court um so on each floor all four floors there was a microwave unfortunately girls are very dirty when they do not have their mother or father telling them to clean this up clean that up clean it up sometimes um, a lot of my friends would have to go to the fourth floor which is the guys floor and use their microwave because their microwave is more cleaner than all the girls microwaves on the first second and third floor so it's not that bad because you can go to use the microwave at any time however there are times where your hall might get in trouble for something and your ra ca your ca might take away you guys's microwave and it might take all the girls microwaves away so you might i don't know it's just something you gotta play with you can go to any floor to microwave your stuff though so you should be good are the sports popular so i uh, i won't say all the sports are popular but basketball is very popular i enjoy basketball season the most because i'm a basketball type of girl i actually watch the nba um so i would say like actually definitely try to go to the games Literally, get up and go to the games. Make you some friends to go to the games. Go to the games. Football games are a big thing as well. Um, even homecoming is a really big thing um, when you go to football games. So football and also basketball are one of the biggest games. Some of the games are like fashion shows. We used to come dress to impress at the fa- I mean, um, at the fashion shows. Some of the basketball games are like fashion shows. We used to come dress to impress at the fashion shows too. Some of my best outfits, I would wait for the um, a basketball game, maybe like a rival game against other HBCUs, well big HBCUs like Morehouse or something and I wear my best outfit there so people even will wear heels to the um, basketball game so I'd say they're a big deal and it's really fun so definitely come dress to impress. Okay some of these are already answered. Where are some good places to go on campus for studying, taking pictures, being around friends? Um, for taking pictures, I would say there's this one place by the caf, cafeteria dining hall and it's outside by the marsh. That's a famous place where people take pictures at because the marsh is right behind it and it's a nice scenery. For studying, definitely the library. It's not super packed and you have study rooms. You could check out a study room and have the room all to yourself. And sometimes the libraries are open to about 2 in the morning on certain days or 12. So that's a great place to study. And for being around friends, I'd say the U, which is a student union, for being around friends. Are there a lot of students that are in sororities, fraternities? 
it's not a lot, but there are people in sororities and fraternities. But then again, I don't know how it is going to be this year and how it was just the previous semester. But usually there is um, a good amount of people, but there isn't a super long line of frats and sororities, though. Because usually what happens is they become a soror or a frat brother or whatever at the end of their college four years. So by that time, once they pledge, they graduate. And so we're technically not at the school anymore. Are internships available? Yes, there are a lot of internships. Um, what you should do is what I said at the beginning of the video is to go to the Career Resource Building and talk to them about internships. Perhaps you should be able to find some on handshake.com as we talked about in the beginning. And also, like I said, network. So you can also find um, internships, also network with your professors and tell them what you're interested in, what career or field that you're interested in. And sometimes they can also help you to get in contact with um, different companies or such to find internships for you. Is there diversity on campus? So. It's an HBCU, it's not a PWI. I will not say there's a bunch of diversity. It's literally a lot of African Americans. You might find a few biracials and you'll find a limited of Caucasians. Um, there's rarely any Hispanics, rarely any Asians, but like I said, it's HBCU. So when you should go in finding people who look like the color of me. And that's all for the questions. I hope that you guys got to know or learn some of the stuff that people were asking. If you do have any other questions, just feel free to definitely comment them below in the comment section. If it's a lot of questions, I don't mind making a Q&A part two. Um, literally, just ask me any questions. I got you guys. You guys can reach me on my socials if you have like any other personal questions or anything. I got y'all. Also, check out my Amazon storefront um, for some of the stuff that I might have mentioned that you might need to get and make sure you subscribe to my channel for um, some of those videos that I told you guys I'll be making soon. I will be making them very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe and you turn on your notifications so that you'll also see whenever I post. Thanks for watching and good luck on your new school year. It's a great, great thing you did. So congratulations on becoming a freshman.